evaluation of an improper integral using laplace transform technique evaluate integral 0 to infinity e power negative 3t t power 5 dt by using laplace transform method for this kind of problems we have to assume the constant 3 as the parameter s according to laplace transform to the function f of t we have integral 0 to infinity e power negative st f of t dt that means laplace transform of f of t is this thing now integral 0 to infinity e power negative st why because 3 is replaced by s t power 5 dt according to this definition we have laplace transform of t power 5 we know that Laplace transform of t power n is n factorial by s power n plus 1 that is 5 factorial by s power 6 since n is 5 here. Simplify this result 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 whose value 120 by s power 6. So it is an improper integral it consists s and on right hand side we have the expression in terms of s putting s equals to 3 which implies that integral 0 to infinity e power negative 3 t t power 5 dt is equal to 120 by 3 power 6 after simplification we get 40 by 243 since 120 can be expressed as 3 into 40, 3 power 6 can be expressed as 3 into 3 power 5, 3 3 cancel we get 40 by 243. Hence the result of improper integral by using Laplace transform method is 40 by 243. That is the beauty of Laplace transform technique in evaluation of improper integrals. Show that integral 0 to infinity e power negative 3 t t sin t dt is 3 by 15 by using laplace transform technique we can show this improper integral value is 3 by 50 assume 3 is equal to s it became integral 0 to infinity e power negative s t t sin t dt that is Laplace transform of f of t integral 0 to infinity e power negative st f of t dt. According to this formula, except e power negative st, rest of the part is only function of t that is Laplace transform of t sin t. We know that Laplace transform of a function that is multiplicated by t is negative 1 into first derivative to f of s. That is negative 1 into first derivative to Laplace transform of sin t. We know that the Laplace transform of sin a t is a by s square plus a square. That is negative 1 into first derivative to sin t whose Laplace transform 1 by s square plus 1 square that is 1 by s square plus 1. Now whose derivative negative 1 into 1 by s square plus 1 derivative to negative 1 by s square plus 1 whole square but inner function is s square plus 1 whose inner derivative to d by ds of s square plus 1 that is negative 1 into negative 1 positive 1 by s square plus 1 whole square s square derivative to with respect to s 2s plus 1 is constant constant derivative to with respect to s0 that is why 2s plus 0 became 2s. Now putting s is equal to 3 since this improper integral is <coughs> integral 0 to infinity e power negative 3 t t sin t dt is equals to 2 into 3 that is 6 by 3 square 9 plus 1 whole square 6 by 10 square. 6 by 100 6 by 100 simplification 3 by 50 2 into 3 by 2 into 50 we got 3 by 50 as the result of improper integral by using laplace transform technique hence we have shown that this improper integral is 3 by 50